Hey guys, let's talk about Devontae Mays. This is the Out of Breath Armstore Packer Minute, the show where I walk around the neighborhood talking about the Packers, and you watch to see if I get torched by a Firebird. And it's a quiet back street today, not looking too exciting in that regard, but Packer Nation is excited for a couple of reasons. Number one, as of today, today's Thursday, Training camp is exactly, we are the first practice of training camp is exactly one week away today. I know you guys will thumbs up this video just because of that. Well, I hope you will at least. Um, and one of the guys that we're excited about, we've been talking about the rookies coming in. We've been talking about the draft picks in particular. Here comes somebody. Uh, look over my shoulder. And uh, one of the guys that we're excited about is, uh, I think he's waiting for me to get across his driveway here, is Devontae Mays, the uh Packers selection in the seventh round uh, first selection of the seventh round I do believe running back who I mean this guy you know we've got three running backs and all of them have their own particular qualities we've talked about that if you haven't seen my shows from before talking about uh, Aaron Jones recently and then also of course Jamal Williams uh, they each have their own particular characteristics and qualities, and if I was going to describe Devontae Mays, I probably would use the term physical freak. I mean, five foot eleven. he's sub six foot, but he weighs 230 pounds. The guy has a 420-pound bench press to his credit, um, which to his credit in the football world, it's hard to say, but the guy bench is over 400 pounds. We know that much. Um, this guy's a physical specimen. He's a guy who's going to come into camp. He's a bruiser. Um, this is a guy who's going to come into camp. He's going to be looking for blood, and he's going to be looking for a roster spot. Now, does he get one? That is a big question because we did bring in three rookie running backs. We've got a couple other ones. We've got a to total of five, um, and we know Ty Montgomery is the starter. And, of course, the guy was a seventh-round pick. So uh, how much do you expect out of a guy like that? I don't know. But what I do know is... I would love to see this Packers team have a compliment to Ty Montgomery in a, a sort of thunder to Ty Montgomery's lightning. And, uh, and Devontae Mays looks like he might just fit that bill and do it quite nicely. And if the Packers get a guy like this who can contribute out of a seventh round draft pick, I mean, talk about value. Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers offense are going to be fantastic with Ty Montgomery. But in particular, when December rolls around and this team is going to want to be able to grind out three and four yards at a time, even two and three yards at a time to make sure you get into a third and short situation where defenses have to, they can't just commit to the pass. They have to uh, respect the run as well as the pass. And if a guy like Devontae Mays comes on, I mean, the value of this guy could be off the charts. I think between the three guys that we have, uh, we're going to find one of those guys, and yes, we committed three draft choices to it, and really only one probably of these guys can get significant reps, maybe two, and of course, we don't know what the injury situation is going to be, but Devontae Mays is going to come in, and he's going to be fighting for a spot. Uh, this is a good kid. Uh, I just like the fact that he is compact, but he is, he's got a lot of mass in that compact frame at 230 pounds. Now, this is the guy who if you were to look at Eddie Lacy, not Eddie Lacy today, but Eddie Lacy coming out of coming into the draft when the Packers selected him, he's a dead ringer for Eddie Lacy at 5'11, 230. Eddie was 231, you know, one pound difference and all the measurables. Uh, he just looks like Eddie Lacy 2.0. And that in and of itself is exciting for Packer Nation. So we um, you know, like you say, it'll all start in a week. We'll start determining which of these guys truly can and will pan out. And, but we are going to need one of these guys. You know, I think uh, to split reps with Ty Montgomery um, is going to be important. We want to make sure that Ty Montgomery is as fresh as possible for a playoff run that we are expecting to have. And by the way, guys, this might be off the beaten path a little bit, but if you have not yet done it, go immediately to my Facebook fan page, the Green Bay Packer Nation Facebook fan page, and check out the video that I posted with Ty Montgomery, it's a fairly significant portion of video. Ty Montgomery doing footwork drills and hands drills in Houston um, and get ready to get stoked about Ty Montgomery. If you have not seen that, you have not begun to live. Today is Thursday. Um, 
check it out. I think it will be exactly the ticket for you to have a great day today. You're going to love the video. Uh, again, it's just, you know, one of those videos that's been snagged from here and here, hither and yon. Um, but you see some a significant portion of Ty Montgomery uh, doing drills out there. So I think our number one is set. Ty Montgomery's footwork looks fantastic. The one thing I have said that I would like to see out of Ty Montgomery, the one not so obvious thing. I mean, obviously we want to see him. He's a second year player now at a running back position. We want to see him be able to pass protect better. That was one thing if you watch the tape. Uh, he did struggle from time to time because he was basically playing it by ear and going on uh, intuition. And um, uh, But we know he's going to catch well out of the backfield. And the fact of the matter is he's finally a second-year player at that position. Uh, but the one thing in his running game that I would like to see, and I do not see in Ty Montgomery's repertoire at all, I have yet to see it, is a two-foot cut. In this video, you will see Ty Montgomery begin to drill. It's a staggered two-foot cut. And I got to say, I'm pretty excited to see Ty Montgomery working on his footwork. And we already know the kid can catch. We already know he's going to be one of the best backs out of the backfield uh, coming into the 2017 season. And we know that uh, Aaron Rodgers trusts him. We know that Mike McCarthy understands how to manipulate him in that offense and use him in creative and different ways. You can split him out wide. You can put him in the slot. You can motion him. If he can pass protect, he can chip. He can go out into, the, uh, into a pass pattern in the flat. Uh, he is a dangerous, dangerous player in a whole lot of ways. And push come to shove, not that this is what I'm hoping for, Ty Montgomery can also run back kicks for us, which is something that we do not have answers for as of yet. Uh, unless we're going to put Randall Cobb back on punts again and Ty Montgomery back on uh, kicks. I don't think that's ideal, uh, but in a pinch, he can do that. In a pinch, if the wide receiver core, even though that stack becomes a problem, he can play wide receiver as well. Um, of course, I've gone off the beaten path a little bit um, talking about Devontae Mays, but Devontae Mays to me looks like a nice thunder to Ty Montgomery's lightning. And if he develops and comes on in training camp and looks like a good kid, can make the roster, make the team, uh, he may have a chance to get out there. And, of course, at that point, anything can happen. All right, well, Cujo is signaling the end of the show, so I'll probably close it up so you don't need to see the blood and gore as he uh, disembowels me in a moment or two. But I did want to talk about... Devontae Mays, I'm excited to see this kid play. This is going to be one of the training camp battles that I think everyone in Packer Nation is going to have their eye on, the running back situation. Uh, it's great to see what Ty Montgomery is doing. Again, check that video out. You're going to love it. Um, and uh, at the same time, we're going to need to have a backup or two and hopefully hide somebody on the practice squad as well because I'd like to keep all three of these guys. Well, that's going to do it for me for today, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. It's Thursday. The weekend is coming, and I will be back again tomorrow um, to continue to talk about these rookies that are coming in and the potential that, that they have. Um, now that we've been through the running backs, we'll probably go back and catch up with Coffee and Micha. Um, and uh, then we've got a couple of wide receivers that we picked up at well as well. I think I talked about Yancey. I can't remember if I skipped Yancey or not, but we'll catch up with all that tomorrow. In the meantime, you have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Go Pack.